What's going on everybody? Today we're going to talk about how to do mass allocations in Oracle Fusion applications, which is substantially different than how we used to do them in Oracle EBS. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to look at a use case, review the journal entries for the use case, we'll upload the journal entries and post them, we'll create the rule, we'll run the allocation, we'll review the processes for the allocation, we'll review the allocation journal entry and post it, and then we'll check the account analysis. Okay, let's talk about the use case. We're going to allocate rent expense to admin cost centers based on the square foot used by each cost center. So let's take a look at the journal entries in the spreadsheets to be uploaded. The first one we're looking at is for the headcount that will be done in the currency stat and only have debit entries since you can do single-sided entries with the stat currency. Notice here the group of cost centers. These all roll up to 1000. The total of the debits is 20,000. So in essence, we will have each of these will have their own percentage of the five over 20, the one over 20 and so on. And so they're all getting booked to this 62101, which is the rent expense account for the sake of just booking it to that. OK, but it is being booked at the stat. So we'll upload that and then post it. And then here I'm going to do an accrual for the rent expense to the accrual accrued expenses for 100,000 to accrued expenses and 100,000 to the single cost center of 1999. And that will aggregate all of the rent expenses for the month that will be booked to all of the relative cost centers of 62101, et cetera, et cetera. All right. And so what we do then is we will upload these and then review them and then post them. All right. So we're over here, the journals. Let's go take a look at the journals I have uploaded and posted that which we just saw in the spreadsheet. Here is the posted headcount. Notice the various cost centers and 20,000. It is posted. Come back here. Let's look at the journal for the accrued rent to 62101. Cost center 1999, accrued rent. It is posted. Let's come out of that. Let's go over to, to general accounting dashboard so we can look at the the balances and here we'll inquire on balances and we'll expand this it's in usd so we'll check the stat in a minute come down here you can see the cube you can see the 2000 that's going to be the accrual okay here it is 21 9 whatever so that's that one and let's pull that all the way back and then we can also see here in the 60 62 60 oh, there we go 62101. Now let's go over here and quickly change this to stat. I uh, doesn't like that. Doesn't like my spelling of stat with the lower case. So we'll make it happy, refresh it. And now we have 20,000 only in the 6,000s in the 62. And we can open that up and you can see the full detail of all the different cost centers because it is posted. And here it is single sided debits. And that'll do it for the posting and the checking of the balances. Now let's create the rule. And it will open up the enterprise performance, the EPM system. And we'll go right to the ledger. We'll give the rule a name. We'll call it rent allocation for admin CCs. First thing we're going to do is drag over a point of view. Save it. And here I'm going to add a variable. If the variable exists, then use the one for the current period. If it doesn't, we will go over and create the variable. New, give it a name. I'm going to call it current period. The type is member. We want the accounting period. We want the runtime. And we're going to give it a message. Save it. We can close out of the designer for the variables and we'll go back to rent allocation. We'll search for our variable and there it is. So the user will enter the period when they run it. Now we'll assign the ledger. In this case macro. Done. We will supply the company 1021 to stay consistent. These are all defaults. 
We will not define the account or the cost center because that's what we're working on. So we'll add the default for the location. We'll add the default for the interco. We'll leave the scenario blank. Currency will be dollars. And the type will be total. And say OK. And let's save that. Confirm it. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to bring over an allocation. If I could grab it, drop it there. And that'll bring up this pop-up. And there's nothing to do here because we've already set the default. So we don't want to do any overrides. Here, we're going to add the source, which is the source from the journal entry, which is the 62101 for the account, which is the rent expense. Okay, that's where we booked the 100K to. All right, the cost center was the 1999. So let's go grab that. There it is. Pull that over. And now we're going to change the total for allocations to just simply actual. And then the balance amount, we want the ending balance. And the amount type, we want everything that's in that to be wiped out. So we want the year to date always. Most people get that part wrong. Here, we're going to do the range. We're, new, we're not doing any range for the account. So we're only doing range for cost center which are all of the cost centers under the 1000. So there they are. So bring 1000 over. There we go. I hit save and then next. The target is going to loop through all the cost centers. And again, it's 62101. So we want to loop all the cost centers into 62101. The offset is basically the original account, the 62101. We want to empty out that account that we booked to, which is the 62101 and the 1999. So let's go grab that. There it is. And we're not excluding anything, so let's move on. Now the basis, very important. That's where we're, going to, where we're going to loop through the stat. So we do have to add the account. Everything else defaults. So again, 62101 is where we book the stat square foot to. The location is there defaulted. Actual is fine. Let's get the ending balance. And again, change period to date to year to date because we want everything that's in there. We're not going to keep adding these journal entries month by month. Usually the square footage stays static unless we change it. So we don't want activity. We want ending balance. So again, currency is stat. Currency type. Again, we'll choose total. And everything is good there. Everything else defaults. Save it. Nothing to exclude here. Here we'll set this to two decimal points for the rounding. Save it and move on. And it is saved. We'll save it again. And then we'll validate and save. But first we've got to add a default period so that it can run itself. And it validates OK. Then we'll further validate it one more time. Choose the period. Validate. Done. And we're going to deploy it and we will choose the period one more time. And deploy. Confirm that it is deployed. Okay. So it's all set. We'll close out of that and we'll come back and we'll get ready to do the allocation. Okay, so let's go ahead and run the generate allocations. And let's choose the rule. The one we created. And it will bring up the parameter that we need to enter. The variable, January, which is the open period. 
we'll submit it. Now let's go over to the processes, the scheduled processes. And let's refresh. And bring that down. Notice down here we have allocations paused. And all is completed. So let's go back to journals and find the journal that it just created. And here it is, 100,000. And take note, let's go downstairs a little bit here. All right, notice that all of these have now been allocated to the various cost centers based on those percentages. The 100,000 was taken out of the original posting location. And now, we'll see that it's posted and let's go over to general accounting dashboard and then we're going to go to inquire and analyze the balances let's expand that out this is all in usd now so we'll go all the way down to the six thousands and we're going to go into the detail and you can see we have updated the balances with the posting and the original entry is completely zeroed out and it has been fully distributed to the cost centers. And that, folks, is allocations in a nutshell. Not hard, pretty straightforward. Hope you enjoyed it. So that's going to do it for this one, folks. If you found the information useful, why not consider using the subscribe button like a bookmark so you can have easy access to the information without having to search for it when you need it. I really hope you enjoyed your visit today and I will catch you in the next one.